So we're gonna do some mock calls. We've got some pretty good actors lined up. And I will have no idea what's coming. Nope, no so idea So it could coming. be cat in a tree. Absolutely. It and could be. Just like a day in my life, you're gonna be living it, you're gonna be doing it. You got this. Okay. Every year in the United States, 911 is dialed 240 million times. 911, what's your emergency? That's roughly 600,000 911 calls every single day. Not too long ago, the concept of calling a universal, easy to dial emergency number didn't even exist. Before the 1960s, callers had to memorize and dial the number of their local police and fire departments if they wanted any chance at receiving help. So in the year 2022, what actually happens when you dial 911? Well, today I'm gonna see what it's really like to be the first first responder and the person who picks up the phone when you dial 911. Challenge accepted. Oh my gosh. All right, Michelle, welcome to South Metro Fire Rescue Emergency Communication. Wow. This is where all the 911 calls come in. This is incredible. There's so many monitors. Yes, this is the ultimate gaming setup for adults. And saving lives. And saving lives. So we'll come over here and I'll introduce you to Sarah. So Michelle, Sarah! <laughs> it's so nice to meet you. I'm so glad you're here today. Oh my gosh, it's Sarah, awesome. I'm so excited to meet you. Come on in, step okay. into my office. So yeah, it like really I said. Does like mission control. Yeah, there's a lot. Maybe let's start from the beginning. What happens when a call comes in? I have 45 seconds that I need to get the address, the phone number, and what's going on in order to get oh it God. over to get crews assigned to it. So initially it's gonna drop in on my call screen here. We're gonna answer it, it's gonna come into our headset. And then from there, we're gonna put in our problem nature. You got fire alarms, you know, water. Bomb threat. Luckily, we've never had to put that one in. Police assist, SWAT assist, we do a lot of SWAT assists. I'm actually doing SWAT next month. Seriously? Yeah, so be sure yeah. to subscribe so you don't miss that one. I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> we're gonna get ready for a phone call, right? We're gonna, that phone's gonna ring and we're gonna answer it. Right now? Yeah. Wait, wait oh my God. Nope, not yet, you're good. Let's put your, let's give you your headset. You've got a mute switch here. So. Oh, so I'm gonna be listening in when yeah. you take real calls. Oh yeah, we're gonna have you listen Okay, in I'm sure. gonna be closed the entire time. <laughs> Can I push that? I shouldn't. Don't push that unless you're ready to. What's this that? is actually your transmit button, so see I've got it in mine. Hello. Don't so send anyone. <laughs> there is no emergency occurring. Okay. <laughs> All right, cool, right? <laughs> oh. oh my God. Aircraft emergency. What? Are you kidding me? Yeah, so that's Centennial Air giving There's us an air alert, two for gear. So it's two jets. Two jets. So that's the call they just built and dropped it in. Those in are the- In flight, so like they're There's, in the air having an emergency. Correct, sounds like their landing gear is not going down. If they can't get their landing gear down, it could cause a potential crash when they hit the wrong way. So we're gonna send our crews out. There they are. Yep. So we're listening to Scent Air. They have their tower control. Their port five is the ones talking right now. So no low approach to land if gear's back. So they're just gonna try and land. Without wheels? So okay, first so jet one down land, safely. Landed, okay. Yep. You know, you, you send a lot just in case, and then like that, that jet landed safely. We're waiting for the second jet, but we have as much there as we need. That's, this is another call coming in? Yeah, so we're While gonna, a plane crash is happening? Correct. South Metro Fire Rescue, what's the address of your emergency? All right, caller, are you there? Yes, I am. Ma'am, can you verify your address for me, please? Perfect. And I just opened up the garage door. I couldn't. What's the phone number that you're calling from? Can you tell me exactly what happened? Uh, I was sitting out in the garage drinking uh, my coffee and uh, I wanted to get up and I fell down All right. on my knee and my okay. elbow. I want you to know I've got some help already headed to the apartment, okay? Are you there by yourself? Okay, I'm gonna try and ask you just a couple of questions, but again, they're already on their way. There is a big misconception when you call 911 that we're waiting to send help. So as soon as we have your phone number, your address, and then we know what's going on, as soon as we have that information, we're sending help out the door. Again, again, help's on the way. You're welcome. Um, from now on, don't have anything to eat or drink, okay? It might make you sick or cause further problems. And it, again, I want you to just rest in the most comfortable position for you, okay? Okay. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. No, you're fine. That's what we're here for. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Bye bye. Wow. <laughs> you went from supporting in a plane crash to helping an elderly woman who just fell. Every day is different. I've delivered a couple babies over the phone. What? Yeah, it's pretty exciting. It sounds. <laughs> you have instructed someone on how to deliver a baby. Yep. So I'm going to need to learn how to do all of this mm -hmm. today. Yeah, you can do it. Okay. Yeah. All right, Michelle, so what we're going to get started with here is uh, some of our pre-employment tests that can directly relate to what you will do on the dispatch floor. So what specific skills is this testing me on? Data entry, memory recall. We also have some basic map reading. So some multitasking. There definitely is multitasking. Got it. Each time a new emergency message is presented, you will hear a distinctive sound. It's going to give you a, a scenario hint. and then I and you have to select is that a police response, fire response, EMS response or utility response. OK, here we go. Man throws lamp at girlfriend's head. I mean, that sounds EMS, but did it land? Police. Next question. <sighs> Electrical power lines falling down on highway. Utility, but it's in a highway. <laughs> Woman shoots at her husband during an argument. That seems like an all of the above, to be honest. Um, you have to think the initial call. Now that might lead to other things, but who needs to go right now? Police. You only get one choice. Police, 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 police. Boom! Let's go! I got them all right. So as we go through other modules, this little screen is gonna pop up while you're in the middle of doing something else. Stop. Good luck. Last name, Zachary, Z-A-C-H-A-R-Y. First name, Christina. Everything that we've done so far is part of the call taking process. Someone may only get some information out and then either disconnect or hang up. 981-8752, 428-7516, Girl, 438-2861, okay. I got all of them correct except one. Not bad. You're that was hard. This. Yeah. Final test, map reading. <laughs> Giving someone directions without Google Maps? What? What's the most direct route from your location to the While West Ridge all of the traffic entrance. direction signs, the most direct route A to police the officer starts of the at the intersection of Gateway and 2nd. Oh my God, my head hurts. Obviously we rely on a lot of technology, but if that technology is not available or something fails, we have to go back old school. I think D. Incorrect. Oh no. Left on 2nd. East on second, right on gateway. Yes, yes. How many blocks, girl? Okay, one, two, three, four. First in Bromwell. Yay! 98% accuracy. Based on the modules uh, you took today, you'd be a top candidate in moving on in the process. Okay, cool. You know your way around a keyboard. Okay. <laughs> you have to be a multitasker. You have to be able to process information very quickly. You have to be able to be mentally strong. The calls that come in, sometimes they're, they're easy calls and sometimes they're not easy calls. We begin tonight with the headline that sadly is a familiar one. A school shooting, multiple injuries, this time outside Denver. One of the things that probably hits me the most is the STEM school shooting. This was the shift. Uh, that was actually on for that. You never think that it's gonna happen to your center or to your district. You know, I had to do a self-check and say, it's time to show what we trained for. Okay, where are you in the school? In the middle school office. Okay, are you guys secure? I think so, yeah. We're through okay. the closed door. And we have a second shooter. Okay, where are you in the school? Copy, second shooter. That's probably one of my proudest moments as the manager at the time of the center is how we handled that call. We heard the traffic going out over the PD channel. So we had units responding to the incident before we even got notification from the law enforcement agency, which significantly improved patient transport times and the outcome of some of those individuals. And so that's really the type of calls. Um, they don't happen often, but when they happen, we're on our A game and we're ready to go. There's calls where we're the we're the last voice that that person hears. So, um, it's a stressful job. So, we've come a long way in the support of our responders, right? We used to never talk about this. It would be a sign of weakness 
for me to kind of catch up on myself and, and shed a tear, but I think it's raw and it shows that we're still human and it still impacts us. The federal government actually refers to this position as a receptionist, not taking anything away from what receptionists do, but it's more than just answering the phone and transferring a call. There's a lot more that goes into it. Oh, we're back. We are back. <laughs> It's so intimidating, and now I have to stand here. This is now okay. your console okay. for your final challenge. So we're going to do some mock calls. We've got some pretty good actors lined up. And I will have no idea what's coming. Nope, no so idea So it could coming. be Cat in a Tree. Absolutely. It, it could be, be just like a day in my life. You're going to be living it. You're going to be doing it. You got this. Okay. Ready. South Metro Fire Rescue, what's the address of your emergency? It's nine, uh, it's uh, 9195 East Mineral Avenue. 9195. Hurry. Um, do you mind repeating the address one more time? Yes, yeah, 9195 East Mineral Avenue. Now tell me exactly what's going on. Uh, my wife's water broke. I think she's going into labor. You guys gotta hurt. Okay. What should I do? Are you uh, with your wife right now? Yeah, she's here right now. She's laying on the floor. How old is she? She's 32. Is she currently awake or conscious? Yeah, she's awake. She's kind of trying to breathe through it. Okay, so she's she breathing? She's got a lot of pain. Yeah, she's breathing. Hold on, honey, they're coming. They're coming. Just breathe through it. Breathe through it, I know. And then that's, that's, he didn't mention that, so just hit your green arrow. Perfect, now I go with questions. How many weeks pregnant is she? Uh, you're, she's 38 weeks. 38 weeks, third trimester. Can you see any part of the baby right now? Uh, hold on, let me see if I see anything. Uh, yeah, I think it's part of the head. So now you hit your green you start arrow, pushing or? Perfect, now just follow those. Okay, so I'm sending the paramedics to help you right now. Stay online and I'm gonna tell you exactly what to do next. Okay, okay, I'm ready. Okay, so first of all, do not try to prevent the birth. Do not have her cross her legs. Tell her to not sit on the toilet. Allow her to assume the most comfortable position and have her take deep breaths okay, in between the contractions. Close your hand, just try to breathe through your contractions. Just breathe, it's okay, keep going. Now, with each contraction, you're going to place the palm of your hand against her vagina. Oh, okay. Now so apply- I'm Try to push the baby back in, or? You are uh, going to apply firm but gentle pressure to keep the baby's head from delivering too fast and tearing her. Too fast, okay. All right, honey, I'm just gonna put a little pressure so the baby doesn't come out too fast. Okay, you're doing awesome. Now, as the baby- Are they coming? Are they coming? They are coming right now, and I'm gonna give you a few more instructions, okay? So as the baby delivers, you're going to support the baby's head and shoulders, hold its hips, and legs firmly. Oh man, okay, okay. You can do this. Now remember, the baby is going to be slippery, so don't drop it. Okay, okay, your baby's coming, the baby's coming. Keep breathing, honey, you're doing good. Okay, keep, keep okay. Going, 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 you're going. gonna okay, have, coming, have to tell coming. her to push hard to get the baby out. Okay, keep pushing, honey, push, 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 push. Go, 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 I've got the baby, keep going, keep going. Okay, shoulders are out. Okay, I've got the baby, the baby's out. Is the baby crying or breathing? Yeah, it's kind of a little bit of crying, not too okay. much. Okay, you're... Okay, yep. Now go for the next one. Dry the baby off with a clean towel. So you're gonna dry the baby off with a clean towel? Good job. Then wrap the baby. Okay. You're doing great. Okay, wrap the baby. I've got in, another towel. In a so different clean one, towel. Okay, alright. You can take a minute if okay. you need, it's okay. Just reassure and help's on the way. Take your time if you need. I know it's painful. You're doing good. Baby's good. She's so pretty. You're doing a great job. You're doing a great job. Alright, I think I hear the, the paramedics at the front door. Should I go okay, get great. them? Yes, go ahead and let them in. Come on in! They're here, they're inside. Okay, so if they're there with you, I'm gonna let you go. All right, thank you so much. Congratulations. Okay, thank you. Right there, perfect. Awesome job. 
Just delivered a baby. Oh my God. That was way more intense than I thought it would be. I literally, like, imagine, what if this was me? You still did a really good job. I've been doing this for nine years now, and I, if I get a How call. How do you hold it together? Oh, well, it's practice. Practice and just reminding yourself that we're here to help those on their worst day. Yeah. And that's the best part, right? Thank you, so You're a true hero. Since you finished your final challenge, we have something for oh. you. We wanted to present you with an honorary South Metro Fire Dispatch badge. Are you kidding me? 100%, yep. Thanks for showing the world what it's like to be a dispatcher. And thank you for saving the world, literally. <laughs> I love it. I wouldn't do anything else.